into this moment and uh, we enter now the second hour. God bless your on the air. Praise the Lord. Can you hear me, Pastor Bob? I can hear you good. Oh, good, good. Hey, I need you to pray two things. Okay, first of all, I took my wife to uh, U of M, Michigan Hospital today, University of Michigan Hospital today. And I was just taking her for a routine prenatal visit because we're 33 weeks pregnant and we're both older and what have you. And they ended up keeping her. They said that the baby's heart rate um, had dipped. So they, you know, were concerned. So they decided to keep her. She's in there. She's doing good. They're saying everything looks fine right now. And they're, but they're giving her these uh, these shots just in case. They said you do deliver early, then it'll help the baby's <coughs> lungs uh, be, <coughs> be ready for that process. So, you know, so I said, okay, whatever you need to do, you know. And I just, I just left her up there to, uh, just a little while ago. I stayed up with her all day. So I want you to pray that all is well, Amen. you know, with her and the baby. And then secondly, um, family reunion tomorrow. So coming back down that way, I got to go to Ypsilanti to meet my brothers. We, we've been kind of estranged, uh, my brothers and I, because when my grandmother passed, um, she kind of... Um, left me a little bit more than she left them and they were kind of resentful and we they didn't speak to me for a long time and so my uncle he's trying to get us all together to uh um, you know so we can be brothers again Amen. so i wish you would pray for those two things for me all right and what age is mother oh my wife she's um how old is my wife she's 41. okay yeah gonna pray for baby and mother oh and just just i just want to add this you pray for me so many times over the years i'm noah and i live in saginaw michigan i used to live in detroit listen to you i still listen to you now because i can get you on the internet now so but i just want to let you know that everything that you and your wife pray for me it all came to pass hallelujah <laughs> amen dear Thank father you, in the name of jesus continue to bless this one that is looking to thee and be with that wife in the hospital with that baby. Minister to them both and bless them, I pray. And be with the family this one speaks of. Let it be a blessed time. Minister and bring us on in our journey. Help us in every bit of our living, I pray. And God, help us in all of our loving, that our loving could be more what you want it to be. Let us be going forward in our loving, I pray. Minister to each of us and bring us further daily, I pray. And God, I thank you for your word that says, this is the day that the Lord has made so that we can be blessed in it. Let us be blessed in our day. In Jesus' name, we thank you. God bless your on the air. Yes, Pastor Bogle. May we partake of the water? It's the perfect time for it. God bless you. We'll do it right away. Thank you. And so we're going to respond to this request. But I want to explain to new listeners what this is about. It's practical first. And then when we pray, God makes the moment more blessed. But the medical profession tells us if we drink adequate water, the body gets clean on the inside. And I have been taking this water and I want to continue to take it and even take more because we're told that if we drink adequate water, the body gets clean on the inside. 
and I want my body to be clean. As I'm well up in years, April, I had come to my 83rd birthday, and I want to go on living blessed. And may you have the same blessing, I pray. I'm going to pray, and then I'll cut the microphone for just that moment so I can drink the water without the sound going over the air. Dear God, I ask that you would bless us in all of living. Bless us spiritually first, and then bless us mentally. Bless us physically. Bless us practically. But especially the body needs your touch. And so I'm asking that you would touch us from the top of our head to the soles of our feet. Let us have that kind of blessing. Dear God, I pray. I ask God in Jesus' name that you would also give us greater wisdom, greater knowledge, greater understanding in every bit of living because as we know, we function in a more blessed way. Take us on and minister to someone that has a foot problem. Let those feet function without difficulty, I pray. Minister to all of us, and we shall thank Thee. Lord, we shall thank Thee and praise Thee now. And uh, I'm going to cut the microphone and drink the water, but I'll hurry back. Lord, I thank thee now. Taking our next call, God bless, you're on the air. God bless you, Pastor Bogle. This is Ricky from South Lyon. How are you? Ricky, I thank God for you. And I thank God for you every night and your uh, uh, show. And I didn't know if you considered this, but... When we pray for the water every night, and you're right, it's a great thing and it's very healthy. There's something even more profound about it um, that I'd like to challenge our listeners to remember. So when you're drinking.